Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a game pass and start selling your artwork on starving artists. This tutorial is going to be specifically for Android and iOS devices, but if you're on a PC and you're looking to make a game pass, there will be a video popping up on the screen right now showing you how to do it. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser on your phone, such as Google Chrome or Safari or something else, because unfortunately you can't do this on the Roblox app. Now, once you're on your web browser, you just want to come to roblox.com and you'll probably get a screen that looks like this. It says to go ahead and use the Roblox mobile app instead of on the web browser. But like I said before, you have to use the web browser to do this. So what you need to do is click on the little continue and browser button right below the continue and app button. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just right at the bottom of the screen. So once you go ahead and click on that, you're going to be taken straight to the Roblox homepage. So now the next thing we need to do is get the desktop version of this website. If you're on an iOS device using Safari, what you need to do is down near the bottom near the URL where it says roblox.com, you're going to see an icon that just looks like two A's. You want to click on that and then you'll want to hit request desktop site. If you're on Android using Google like me, what you want to do is click on the three dots in the top right corner and then hit desktop site. Once you click on that, you might see the website kind of zoom out a little bit. That's all right. But the next thing we're going to have to do is zoom back in and click on create next to or under our name. Once you click on that, you may be taken to a page that looks something like this. If so, what you need to do is zoom in and click on the little button under start creating. It'll say manage my experiences. And then now once you click on that, you should be taken to your creations dashboard. So once you make it to this page, the next thing you need to do is select your place. Everyone who has a Roblox account automatically has their own place. It's just going to say your username in it and then have place afterward. So go ahead and click on that. Next, you need to click on the three horizontal bars on the top left corner. You might need to zoom in a little bit to see it. Once you click on that, you're going to see this new menu appear on the side. And then you want to click on associated items. And then now click on the passes section. And then now we can go ahead and start creating our game pass by clicking on create a pass. Now from here, we need to upload an image, create a name for our pass, and you can give a description for your pass if you want to. Now the name and image you give to your game pass doesn't matter all that much, but I'd recommend making it similar to your artwork. All right, so I just gave my game pass an image and name, so I'm going to go down at the bottom here and click on create pass. Now the game pass may take a second to create, but once it's done, you should see it in this passes list here. The image for your game pass may not show right away because it needs to be first approved by Roblox. Now once we have created our game pass, we then now need to go and give our game pass a price. As you can see under the name, it currently says off sale. That needs to have a Robux price on it. So to go ahead and give it a price, we need to first click on it. And then now in the top left corner, we want to click on those horizontal bars again. And then we want to click on sales, the second option. Now you can go ahead and tick on item for sale. And then now we can go and give a price. Now the price for your game pass does matter because this is what you're going to be selling your artwork for. Now, as you can see, if we make our price 10 Robux, we're going to make seven Robux off that. That's because you as the creator make 70% of what you sell, like it says right here. And Roblox makes the other 30%. So once you've got your price set, you can go ahead and click on save changes. Now the last thing we need to do before using this game pass in starving artists is get the game pass ID. To do this on an Android like me, you need to come up to the link up here and click on it. And then click on the little pencil next to the first link here. And then now you need to copy the second number that is on this link. So for me, it is between passes and sales. You want to copy this whole number here. So here we go. I got the whole number selected here. So then I'll click on copy. I don't know how to access this link on an iPhone or iPad, but it shouldn't be that difficult to do. All right. So now let's go get this game pass set up in starving artists. All right. So here I am in starving artists. I just went ahead and set up a booth. So now to set up your game pass, you want to make sure you have an art piece created. You can go over to that stool right there and make a piece of art. And once it's made, you want to come over to this canvas here and click on add art. So now you want to go ahead and select your painting. So I'm just going to select this little blue circle I made. And now on this little screen here, you should see under the prices, there should be a section that says enter game pass ID here. What you need to do is click on that and then hold it down. 
and then go ahead and paste. Now, as you can see, once you paste your Game Pass ID, the selected price here at the bottom will be automatically changed to the 10 Robux we set it up as. So now we can go ahead and click on Done. And now there we go. We now have our art up for sale. So that's pretty much the whole process. If this video helped you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated.